everyone uh, today i am going to talk about a special <coughs> oracle sql implicit function that is decode now decode is a very utility function it is a very useful function uh, which actually gives you a uh, immense power to handle uh, multiple events multiple uh, what will i say mm -hmm. multiple type transaction in a single sql statement okay suppose uh, let us just go through some uh, i'm just going to the table uh, this is my sql prompt and i've been working in a database where we have one table called employee master <coughs> so let us concentrate what on some of this field one is emp underscore rate one is emp underscore category and one is emp underscore sex now when we say select distinct emp grade emp category and emp sex from employee master to see uh, for the first one emp grade we have w s and for emp category there is p and c and for emp6 there is n and f now uh, let us uh, just do one thing let us uh, print it separately suppose we just uh, take out this first we print the emp grade <coughs> Just First, we delete all this and just print the EMP grade. Sorry, I think uh, we have given to remove this one. EMP grade. Now we have W and S. Now, if we print EMP category, uh, just a moment. I just want to remove the multiple instance event, okay? Because I've been printing the three things together, so it is coming more than once. So it's P and C, and in EMP six, obviously there's F and M. <coughs> now see, uh, what we are going to do? We are now going to introduce. I just want to show you one if if else statement. Now please carefully watch this. So there are three conditions. One is on EMP grade, one is on EMP sets, and one is on EMP category. So in the EMP grade, what you have done? <coughs> we have described if EMP grade equal to W, then worker. That this is just to show you the if and if else condition. Else if EMP grade equal to S, then staff. Else not mentioned. You can also have done else uh, else uh, stuff and if okay, but uh, this is uh, actually can create a confusion if suppose uh, there is null in EMP grade. So in that case also it will just print uh, return stuff. So that is a point. So in here also EMP sex equal to n is male. Else if EMP sex equal to f equal to female. Else not mentioned. EMP category equal to P then permanent. If else if EMP category equal to C then casual. Else not mentioned. Now this if, if else if condition is can be best made out in a pure SQL block. So what about you if you want to compact it in a single um, SQL SQL statement? That where the decode function comes into play. Now see. For the first one, if I want to um, so print, when you have have written the select statement, select EMP grade from employee master, it has given W and S. Now I want to print worker and staff instead of W and S are not mentioned. So what will I do? <coughs> I will write select decode. Suppose with this we print the EMP code. Uh, first let us uh, okay just uh, let us distinct decode 
UMP great W then worker S then stop else not mentioned from employee master <coughs> so what is actually happening decode till i am giving the field then the second option is checking the field value so when the field value is this then this in the field value is this then this else this so <coughs> in the third one also i can provide say null so i'm not getting going for null okay so there is no uh, as such that else you have to put else statement you can put an else if statement on the last one so as uh, suppose i put here else if something like that else if null m6 equal to null then so it is something like that so uh, i'm not checking it can be null it can be any other a b c d x y z so in that case else it is not mentioned so here also uh, it is optional you can remove this and just put else not mentioned when w then worker when star s then stuff else not mentioned now i'll just try this sql out in my sql prompt <coughs> is this see staff and worker so you can just put one alias say the same one emp sets okay <coughs> so when you just uh, now remove the distinct keyword and put say emp code you'll get everything Okay, all the data. Let's get the EMP code and printing the full description which I have provided in the code statement instead of just on. It's just going on and on. So <coughs> it is printing the full statement in the same way. Now what we will do? We will add the two more. Say EMP sets. Uh, put a comma here. Again, decode. What is the next one? Next one is MP sex. Okay, I just put the alias wrong there. It should be MP grade. So we we'll make it correct it later on. Uh, this is MP grade. Sorry. You can also put MP underscore grade. Uh, or I can, or I can SQL engine truly understand that this is an alias and not a field name. Okay, that doesn't matter. UMP six M then mail. Now just imagine if you just <coughs> put an L statement if uh, M then uh, mail L female. So what will happen if uh, some uh, field value in the column name in UMP six column is null for a male person? So it will be shown female. So it is really disgusting. So for that we will just use a uh, else part specifically emp sex then comma again we can decode emp category p permanent c Casual, not mentioned. EMP category. Done with this. Sorry. <coughs> okay. Some problem here. Okay, so you find so see male, male, female, female, permanent, casual. Okay, I printed this uh, together. 
so if you have printed uh, now we will come with the EMP code you can, we can also add EMP name <coughs> let us cancel this now see ok so if you want to check uh, all mails are coming suppose I put uh, where <coughs> UP6 equal to F. Okay, so <coughs> this is one uh, decode statement, but now you can see. Uh, let us go to the here. So, uh, see, so let us start if UMP grade equal to W, then what worker UMP grade equal to S, then staff else not mentioned the same thing here emp6 equal to n then mail equal to f then female else not mentioned so this is a particular decode statement now i will show you one decode statement where uh, suppose this one okay so in this one if we write this is on my hand. If I get UMP6 equal to M, then female, F, then male. So it will show just show into that. Okay, this it is on my description. Now suppose I want to swap the entire. Suppose there is a mistake. Okay, uh, <coughs> I'll just create an environment of the mistake. Okay, where all the males have been change to female and all the females have been changed to male now I have to swap this with a single SQL statement so here is the environment C uh, I just copy this one paste it ok so I am sorry uh, I need to change something again EMP code EMP name now, now if I do one thing where EMP sex equal to female, just see how much it will give. Okay, uh, there's some mistake I think. But from just a moment, EMP got oh, uh, then I've just missed the comma comma out. it is not a uh, uh, change previously so I have now changed it now if you see uh, see I have just uh, this all all are changed to female now all males are changed to female and if we just uh, check the male out you can see <coughs> if, you, uh, uh, if you are from India you can understand the name see all the females are changed to Taposi, Kavita, Java they are all changed to male now I will just write a decode with a decode statement I will write an update statement it will just reverse the order so update <coughs> uh, employee master set emp sets equal to decode emp sets if male then change to female I mean is just define it as female if female then define it as male just this much you don't have to write any PLS school block you don't have to explain write a if else if else if and something like that just a one decode statement now if you just see I just put the male condition so let us go to the female again so that you can understand better what it had it showed you just all mail for the name java and all that now if we print this see again it is changed to female so this is a particular 
type of decode statement by which a single SQL statement can reverse the value of a field. Okay, swap the value of a field. You can actually swap the value of a field using decode statement. So this is a small uh, example of decode. Okay, I can cannot show you right now uh, with a bigger. You can uh, put numerous number of else if okay w worker a staff uh, n manager okay uh, <coughs> the p p on so you can put in enormous number of values you can like in decode statement okay so decode statement actually comes if you don't uh, consist of uh, uh, any master table which defines actually this uh, short uh, description of a short value and if you you have to hard code it on your PL skill code or skill code, then it comes into play. So that's all about the code statement. Uh, watch out for my uh, next video, uh, which is probably will be on uh, select case, which is it's, uh, something similar to the code statement. Uh, please, please like the video, press the like button if you like the video. And if you don't like, you can also press the dislike button. And please subscribe to my channel that is SCPHRO190776. Thank you very much.